Well, hello folks and welcome back. Under the stairs here at the Everyman Cinema, this is part two of What's on the Rack from Destination Venus for New Comic Book Day, March the 8th, 2023. Happy International Women's Day. Uh, part two of the rack. Again, some really good stuff. We've got another issue two, part two of Blood Tree. Now, issue one left me very seriously wanting to know a heck of a lot more about what was going on. There's real occult mystery going on here. There's a, a really mature bit of storytelling going on, and there's a real sense of menace in these pages, which I am thoroughly enjoying. That's, uh, that's coming out from Image. Now we've got a new issue one, which I have read, um, from Scott Snyder and Francis Man Paul, published by Dark Horse. This is brilliant. This is clear. Um, I want you to imagine a future, a particularly grim future, I reckon, where we don't need the metaverse because everybody is wearing sort of VR tech, um, the, they call it veil here, which simply changes what the real world looks like. So you're in the real world, interacting with the real world, but it looks like whatever you want it to look like. If you want it to look like 1940s New York, that's what it looks like. If you want it to look like a Dungeons and Dragons fantasy, that's what it looks like. Throw in some murder and some mayhem and some intrigue, and um, this is great. Thoroughly enjoying enjoying this. It's a, a really interesting take on virtual stroke augmented reality, uh, on AI, and all of that good stuff. Well, I say good stuff. I'm not in favour of most of it, but you know what I mean. Uh, then we have the Fantastic Four hit in issue five, and again, I say this every time the Fantastic Four hits the rack. I have never been a fan of Comics First Family, but the FF in this run are really actually hitting for me. It's dynamic, it's powerful storytelling, a brilliant characterisation, and honestly, the covers. Alex Ross is knocking it out of the park, then going and catching it and knocking it out of the park again. Then we have The Flash, which has hit issue 794 already. Uh, nice to see some of the other speedsters getting a bit of a look in here. I know there's Impulse. I think there are other speedsters in here as well. But of course, there's also The Flash. Uh, then we have some more Godzilla. Love a good kaiju. Um, Godzilla rivals Mothra versus Titanosaurus. And you know, this is this is exactly what you want from from a Godzilla book. It's it's people having to deal with giant monsters intent on punching each other. And um, it's, it's great. If you like a good kaiju fight, then there is one here. Uh, then we have our low earth orbit satire know your station as the murders continue. And finally for part two, the Joker still isn't laughing. Which is good, because he's a bad guy. He's not supposed to be laughing. He's supposed to be miserable. Uh, but sadly, when the Joker doesn't laugh, it doesn't bode well for anybody. So that also hits the rack today. Uh, very much been enjoying this series. That's it for part two. We will see you back here very shortly for part three. Until we do, be kind to yourself, be kind to everybody else. Above all else, love comics. We'll see you soon.